Hey, what's happening? This is Jerry over at Wealth Dynamics. I hope you are doing fantastic tonight. Coming at you tonight, a little bit of a late night for me coming home from the office. I just got done designing some promotional stuff, uh, working with my staff, just building my business out. And I wanted to give you this message today on how to deal with people that are critical and negative. Okay, now this is particularly for uh, business owners, salespeople, entrepreneurs. We've all got great clients, and then every once in a while we get that client that's just negative for no reason. Okay, they're just negative, they don't have any appreciation for what you're doing, uh, they don't use the service, they get upset easily, and they like to blame. We've all got that client. So I wanna get that established, like everyone has that person, but I also wanna put it on the table that just because you have that person doesn't give you the right to, to berate them. Like they're still a client, you still need to be professional, but here's how you handle them, okay? Now realize when somebody is being negative, when somebody is being negative or critical, first, never take it personally. Okay, when somebody is being negative, they're usually saying something about themselves. Okay, so one of the things in my business, I help people learn about money. I help people understand it better. I help people make more money today, save more of it, keep more of it, multiply it. I do all sorts of cool stuff with clients for clients with money, right? And so a lot of the critical remarks or negative people I get are people that are negative because they know they should be doing better with their money. And so every time they see me or they see my message, they have to come to grips and face terms that they're not handling their money well. They're not investing, they're not saving, they're not they're not selling, they're not increasing their income. And so their, their, their notion is, hey, I'm gonna make this guy wrong so that I can continue on being right without having to change what I'm doing. Okay, so realize that's probably what's happening. Okay, now there's a couple reasons somebody would be critical or negative of you. First one being, you're doing something that they know they should be doing and they're not doing it. Kind of like I just explained, right? They're, they're, they're telling you like, hey, I wish I was doing what you were doing by being negative, by making critical remarks about you. They wish they had that, it's just a jealousy thing. Okay. Now, the other reason that somebody would be critical or negative if, is they've done something unethical and so the thing they're accusing you of is actually something they've done. Usually, they've done it against you. Okay. Now, an example of this would be if I teach a client how to sell and they don't sell, they don't do anything I taught them. This is just an example, right? They don't do anything I taught them. Let's say that they sign up on a program, they're like, man, I'm going to learn how to sell and then they don't do any of the training, they don't do any of the programs, they don't participate, they don't show up to stuff, they never do anything they should be doing to win on the program, they would accuse me probably of being a pushy salesperson. That would make logical sense. They'd be like, you're a pushy salesperson. Okay, and the reason why is they're being unethical because they agreed to do something and they didn't do it. They went against their agreement. And again, it goes back to that person. Let's say, let's say uh, you sell cars, right? and you sell someone a vehicle, or you try and sell someone a vehicle that you know is good for them, you know it's gonna help them, they know it's a good idea, they agreed to do it, and then they back out at last minute. When they back out, they probably are gonna make sense of backing out at last minute by saying that you're a pushy used car salesperson. Like that's how people justify it. This is a big thing that happens, not even just in sales, it happens in, let's say, example for example, relationships. A couple gets divorced, one person cheated on the other, and they say that the other spouse that they cheated on is the promiscuous one. Oh, I couldn't keep him away from other women. Like that's that's a typical thing people do. So when you're dealing with someone that's negative or critical, it could be that the, that you're doing something good that they wish they were doing and they're not doing, or it could be that you're not doing anything and they're being unethical, probably against you, and they're making sense of it by making you wrong. Okay. Now, another reason could be, another reason could be that they are withholding you from or withholding something from you. There's something that they did, and they should be telling you about it, and they're not. And instead of handling it, they're confronting it. Not even confronting it. That's a bad word. They're they're making sense of it. They're justifying it by creating a scenario where you are wrong, and therefore they can make sense of being critical to you instead of telling you the truth. Okay, these are all scenarios that can happen. Now, the last one is they could just have a major misunderstanding. Okay, they might have like a bad past experience that's coming up. They could have just a misunderstood concept that.
they don't really get and they don't know they don't get it and it's causing them to, to think or see something about the situation that's not actually true. And that could cause them to be critical as well. Those are the reasons why they could be negative or why they could be critical. Now, when you realize this, what I want you to realize is they're not doing it intentionally. Like that's just a self-defense mechanism. It's a stimulus response mechanism. It's probably happening subconsciously in their head and they have no idea that they're doing it. So as a professional or even as like a friend or a family member, if this is happening, realize A, yeah, they're the one doing it, but they don't know. Like they have no idea. So for you to attack them back doesn't actually fix the situation. Or for you to make them wrong doesn't actually fix the situation. Or for you to call them a bad client doesn't actually fix the situation. What does is getting good communication. So the way you handle somebody that's being critical or negative is you get good communication going. Like send them a message. If they don't want to talk to you, like send them a text or a handwritten letter. Get good communication going. Establish some rapport. Get things warmed up again. And you may not even need to confront what happened. Like they might just come clean and be like, hey, I'm sorry I was being this way. Or maybe it gives you the opportunity to say, hey, what, what was it that was going on? Like we were going, we were doing well, like everything was fine. I was trying to do my best and all of a sudden like things got negative. What happened? And then you can have a good conversation about it. But guys, that's how you should be handling negative people. I deal with it in my business all the time. In fact, my business is almost a target for it because we're a personal development business. When clients come on board with us, they're agreeing to train. Uh, they're agreeing to read books. They're agreeing to do better with their money. And most people are going to try and find ways not to do that. So when we coach them, like we're, we're pulling them back and be like, no, dude, you agreed to this. And so sometimes we have to confront somebody that doesn't want to admit they agreed to something or doesn't want to admit that, that, that they were going to do this and they, you know, they fell through or bottomed out or didn't follow through. And the, the purpose is not to make somebody like that wrong. The purpose is to get good communication going again, find out what happened and get that person winning again. Because they started talking to you for a reason. They started on your service for a reason. They wouldn't have started if they didn't have a reason. Even in a relationship, like they married you for a reason. They didn't marry you for no reason. What was the reason? And you need to go back to that original purpose. So guys, I hope that that helps you. That's something that helps me. And before I knew this data, when somebody was negative to me, my instinct was to be negative back. Like my instinct was to make them wrong, to fight back, to win the argument. Now it's not. My instinct is to diffuse the situation, find out what's going on, find out why they're being that way, and then fix it. Like give them a solution, help them get back on track, and then help them win. That's my goal. So guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you all next time.